Hello, my name is Fernando Camargo, and I'm going to tell you a bit about the Camargo Lab. So in our group, we're very interested in trying to understand how tissues form and how tissues function. And we are particularly passionate about understanding how our blood and immune, and immune systems develop and how our liver works as well, with the end goal of potentially helping patients that develop, for instance, bone marrow failures, leukemias, and in the case of the liver, uh, cirrhosis and or fibrosis. In the lab, we use a bunch of genetic and molecular tricks to identify the factors and or molecules that are involved in the growing of these tissues and the factors as well that are involved in uh, the disease processes that affect these two tissues. One of these uh, genetic tricks that we use in the lab that I will tell you about in a second is called a cellular barcoding. And as the name suggests, what we're able to do actually is to put uh, unique DNA sequences in the genome of every cell in a mouse, for instance, okay? And then that allows us to follow the progeny, like the daughter, the granddaughter, and so forth, of every single cell in the mouse, basically for life. And with that information, we're able to put together a family tree of sorts, right, of every single cell in the mouse and hopefully in the human. Uh, we recently published a paper, for instance, that used DNA barcoding to identify a novel population of cells that is born in the embryo that supports the production of many immune and blood cells for the lifespan of a mouse at least. We think the same population is present in the human. So we're obviously super excited about trying to learn more about the cell population uh, to potentially actually enhance bone marrow transplants and to also uh, maybe reinvigorate the function of your, of your immune system as we age.